Kazuko Akiyama, Yaka, Akiyama. Kazuhiko Akiyama. Yeah, Kazuhiko Akiyama. Makoto Nagano, yep, yeah, that's the one. In the 17 tournament, and Yuji, your Yusha, yeah. Orange Ass. In the 34th and 27th tournament. So probably he did it twice. Alright. We were looking up people who. Oh, wait. Uh, let me try that again. Welcome back to Chase Draft Chats. Link for that. Yeah, we were looking up. Uh, who won Ninja Warrior? We thought. I thought an American had won it yet, but. <laughs> no, no. I, but I That's what I was saying. Like, not, I don't think a single American has made it past, like, the third stage. Yeah, I. Most of the ones that I've seen never even made it past the first one. Yeah. I think there's only been like two people who actually have ever gotten to like a second or third stage, and that was, I think, Levi Muhlenberg. Nope. No? I remember uh, G4 had run a competition, like a, like a competition thing for American Ninja Warrior. It was like some, you know, like they rooted out people that weren't, you know, able to do like their preliminary stuff or whatever. Yeah. And then they had a couple of people that actually were able to go on the course, and I think it was only like two, I think it was two people the first time they had done the American Ninja Warrior Challenge thingy thingy, and they didn't make it past the first stage. They failed on like the third obstacle. Well, I think the, the that course. was probably Levi Muhlenberg. It was not Levi Muhlenberg. Are you sure? No, there were two white dudes. Yeah. Levi Muhlenberg is white. <laughs> I mean, like, non... Like, you know, German or anything or whatever. They were, like, just from, like, dudes from, like, California or some shit. And, yeah. And then Matt something. I'm pretty sure those are the two. I don't. Okay. I'll just look it up. I that? don't think so. Unless I don't know my shit. Some Levi Muhlenberg sounds like a fucking fake-ass name. No, it's not. God. These levels suck! I hate these fucking levels because they're stupid difficult most of the time. Brent Stephenson. He was the latest one. Yeah, the American Ninja Warrior Challenge. Like, it was held a couple years ago. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Let's see. Levi <laughs> Muhlenberg. It's a real person. I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't doubt it because every fake name that you come up with happens to be a real person, but I don't think he was. Levi Muhlenberg. 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 Yeah, but he wasn't a part of that, though. Like, it was two young guys that did it. Let's see. No, this is like, the... I'm talking, I'm talking, like, the guys that were legitimately, like, on the, like, casting thing. Like, you know, the competition to just be able to go on to the Ninja Warrior thing. Yeah. Is what I'm talking about. Because I know a lot of athletes from all around the world go to try that thing, but I mean, it's like, you know, I think there's obviously some sort of selection process for you to get into it, because otherwise there'd be like a thousand some, you know, contestants rather than a hundred every single time you do it. Yeah, in the first one, uh, Levi was the only one to actually complete all three of the stages. Oh, okay. So, yes, he... Levi's. He is indeed... The first one of the American Ninja Warriors to actually be able to go. And then, yes, he failed, I believe, in the first part. Yeah. Well, they... Every single American that I've ever seen go on that course has failed. Like, right on the very first, like, stage. Yeah. And if they do miraculously somehow make it past that first stage... They would fail they at fail. the first thing on the second stage yeah, they, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. And I don't think that's, like, a lack of, you know... Uh, I don't think that's because Americans suck... I think it's because Japanese are very, very... Some people are very devoted to it. Well, yeah, they are, but I mean, also, that's the thing, is, like, um, a lot of the the contestants, the Japanese contestants, have been on the course before, whereas a lot of the American people, they don't ever get an opportunity to do it. Yeah. So they've never been on the course. Why do you cut me off, you piece of shit? Because he wants to win? I don't even know why these races mean anything. I, I don't either. In the grand scheme, I mean, everything else, you know, at least makes some sense that you are destroying their face. God. These all suck, dude. 
Because they are the most they are the most difficult levels of this whole game. Because of shit like that, like you have to be perfect, otherwise you get. Fucked. I will try one more time. Ah, what are you, the dude from Sucker Punch? <laughs> that guy got so into that music. Hey, Billy, why don't you explain that joke? So we were sitting there watching. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, we were sitting there watching. You've been dominating this whole series, so why don't you just fucking tell I will. the whole story? I love that. But I'm telling you to tell it, so. Oh, okay. Fuck, fucking. Whatever. You have permission that to. That fucking tone you're using with me. Piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, so. We were watching Sucker Punch. Awful movie. Guilty pleasure of mine. Awful movie. Uh. And the whole thing, we made, it was bad. It's a bad movie. There is no doubt in that. It is a bad movie. It's very pretentious. Things like that. Except for Sprocket. She's hot. I like her. It is so biased. What? What? What's biased about that? That she's hot. Why? I don't know. Why is it biased? Because How is that is. biased at all? I think she's an attractive woman. Especially in that movie. That's the only redeeming quality to me is Sprocket. When I mean Sprocket, I mean Rocket, but I call her Sprocket. Because it's better. Because I like calling it, I like calling her Sprocket. Anyway, uh, the music's actually not bad in oh, that yeah, movie the soundtrack, whatsoever. The soundtrack's pretty cool. And the visuals are not that bad either. You? Like, it's a, what they do in it... Basically, everything that ties together the music and the uh, visuals... Shit. Yeah, Music like and visuals, the, awesome. Well, the plot is just ridiculous yes. and stupid. It's like, dumb. it just doesn't make any sense. She's a dancing girl who apparently hypnotizes people with her dancing. I don't care. And then all the action sequences take place in the form. Like, she's dancing and mesmerizing people, but they're playing it off like it's some sort of other thing. Yeah. Like, whenever she dances, they're like, like they, they interpret it as an action sequence that is happening, but it's actually fake. Yeah. Which I guess... I guess in some way, because she's in like some brothel or some shit, but then you find I'm gonna, out... Yeah, I'm going to spoil the movie here. Spoilers. She's actually not in a brothel. She's in a mental institution. Yeah. And she is actually just fucking crazy. Yeah, so I guess that kind of follows suit with that theme, but it's still really dumb. Yeah. Like, it's just told very poorly, I think. Like, I just... If you watch the movie... Basically, you're gonna wish that the entire movie was based around these, like, action sequences. Like, it's set in that world, but it's not. Oh no, my pants! Oh. Anyway, joke. Continue. Anyway, so, uh... The story's a lot longer than it needs to be. <laughs> that not that how it always is? Yeah, apparently. Okay, so pretty much what happened was, uh... The, the beats are very simple, everything like that. And I just... I mocked the guy who plays the drums, and he's just so into it. No one else in this movie is into it, but he's the only one who's just like, yeah, I'm really into it. He's rocking these yeah, guys, he's, fucking drums. It's so simple, but he's just, he's so into it. He really cares about this movie, and no one else does. He like, like that's his life calling, is to play the drums for this movie, and he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna give it my all, man. And that is, uh, that's how you make a baby. That was the, that, the only redeeming quality was the soundtrack and Sprocket. Yeah, because the main girl, she's too young looking to be attractive. Yeah, she's got pigtails, man. I'm not really into that. I can, I can do with the pigtails. I mean, they're but not But it's gotta bad, be on but... someone who is mature, but young at the same time. Just bazooka the <laughs> fuck out of this person's house. That's terrible. Uh, but yeah, I like yeah. Sprocket. And uh, yeah, there was uh, the there was bitchy girl. Well, the thing that I found really stupid about that movie too was um, it's supposed to be like you know, I think there's five girls all together. Yes, but only three of them are any uh, 
well, yeah, it only focuses on three of them, but it tries to play it off, like, it tried to play it off in all the advertisements like it was, uh... A five-girl group thing. Yeah, and there are five in the whole group, the whole group, but then by the end of the film, like, you know, like, three-quarters of the th way through, some, the bad guy, the bad dude, just shoots two of them and, and kills them, and that's it. And, yeah. they, like, they, they don't play it off or anything, they're not like, oh my god, they're dead! They're just, they're they're just, just dead. They're just dead. Yeah, so, pretty much you can tell... Who they are just by saying their name, or uh, just by saying what their characters were. There was blah, uh, no, there was black-haired bitchy girl who, I think her name was actually Blondie or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and, and then there was Blondie who was blonde. No, I think she was her name was Amber or something. Yeah, it was Amber and Blondie or something along those lines. I, I know it was something that. weird. Yeah, something stupid. Anyway, like, like their names didn't match their hair color. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. So that's what they were. There was just black haired bitchy girl who betrays, and then blonde girl who goes with the black haired bitchy girl who betrays. And then there is uh, Sprocket. She Sp dies, and I hated it. And Sprocket's sister. She doesn't die. I think she was like Amber or something. I forget. Uh, yeah, I don't care. She, nobody cares about her because she's half decent looking and she lives at the end. <laughs> You're always one for the martyrs there, Taylor. I didn't. It's not like I want. I didn't want her to die. Yeah. I I love Sprocket because she's like the only like I don't know. She's the only likable one because she from like uh she's the one who knows the ropes, but she jokes about it all the time. Yeah. She's like, oh, you gotta get oh, oh. you gotta get used to all the way the shit rolls around here and fuck. <laughs> you know. I don't think that's what she said, but no, but you get not what I quite mean. as elegant as that. That's probably more elegant than that. Much more elegant than that. Because I don't know what... I barely remember the plot to that movie because it fucking sucks. I would... Fuck! But I love it. He died again. I know I... Why don't you I just shoot them? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking rocket launcher. Shoot. Does it look like you have a rocket launcher? Yes! What is this thing? This is them jumping over and being silly pants. Fuck you in your face. Uh, Fuck you and your maybe logic. Later. Maybe a little later. Fuck you and your logic. Piece of shit. See, now everything is safe. I'm dead. And you failed. I gotta use the high jump there. I can't double jump. You gotta go. I'm hitting the pillow that's touching you. I take that as a... A sucker punch. <laughs> no. Why don't you just, you know, jump into the things and shoot the nitrous? Because otherwise they'll fly away. Really? Yeah. Well, they fly away if you, uh... If you, it's, if you shoot I didn't explosives. think they were that close, but... Eh, they kind of are. I think, I mean, I, they might, they might not have, but, you know, I want to yeah, try to make up for all the shit that I've lost. And then don't try and ground pound or anything. I know, just I know, I'm going to shoot them. I know how to do. Okay, just I know, I know how to play a game. Do you? There you go. Fuck. Fuck you. See, they, oh, yeah. they would have gotten them. I didn't think their blast radius were, was as big as the reds. It doesn't matter. Well, the nitros are worse because you can at least touch the TNTs, but the yeah. nitros you can't even touch. <laughs> Alright, who gives a shit about traditional platforming? Let's just blow the shit out of everything. Isn't oh! That, isn't that how everything works now today? Well, when you have a rocket launcher, yeah. <laughs> I got a rocket launcher. Until you get the Screw rocket launcher. Screw the platforms, until you, I have money. Yeah, until you get the rocket launcher, you're like, oh shit, I do have to jump over everything. I have to actually dodge everything. But now it's like, dude, life's, Fuck. life's so much easier when you have a rocket launcher that shoots explosive fruit. <laughs> I think everybody's life would be worse if everyone had <laughs> an explosive fruit launching rocket launcher. I mean, it could end world bazooka. hunger. Yeah. <laughs> Except for it would kill Oh my. Everyone. Yeah, dude, hit me up with some fruit. <laughs> Next time on Chin Strap Chaps, we get butt naked. <laughs> <laughs>